Hello, welcome back. Uh, two battles. First up, Ninith Mercs. Bunch of Jaguar tribe. Versus a couple of Sacreds. Be okay. We don't mind slings too much. These guys with the no armor and no shield might, but... Those in the front are okay. It's just a lot of them to get through. It's not too bad, though. Taking a little bit of poison damage, but... Anyone die? Uh, yes, two Palan Caches and one Asara. Okay, so not great overall, but that was 61 units we got through, so... It happens. Right points then. A lot of undead. We have our prophet and a priest though on uh, banishment duty, so. It should be fine. Yeah, I mean, not too bad. <laughs> it's hard routing, but you know, that happens. That's. That's a Tarby for you. It's a lot of undead to go through. They don't route so well, okay. They do route. The soulless don't route though. <laughs> That's a lot of killing you need to do. Uh, so there's ripe woods as well. Lost one Palancasha, five Atavi infantry, and one Asara. A lot of kills though. 133 units, goddamn. Uh, we also got a national hero. Mbapu. This guy's an H2 dude. So, kind of cool. He also has fear. 15 hit points. And an implementer axe. Very nice. Uh, we also got in the Hall of Fame with both of our commanders over here. It's a shame I haven't named Alinda, but um, they got enormous strength. So, that's something. And those commanders all have 21 hit points. I didn't even realize that. Uh, and our Prophet got Valor, which is pretty good. I mean, he's leading a lot of units, so... Why not? Uh, and that's it for messages. And here's the map now. So, looks like we might be able to get a few provinces up here, which is nice. Ninith Mercs has a Windspire, so... We've got an Urgem. We're up against Wolf Tribe again. I think we'll be okay. We've got 11 Sacreds. Ten of them are the good ones. <laughs> so we'll push up. We don't really have many choices. This is a river connection, unfortunately, so we can't get across here, but... Maybe there's something up here we can take. The territory is going to be very awkward if there is. It's just going to be one long straight line, but, you know... We'll take what we can get at this point. Uh, and over here we'll try hitting Keepers. Maybe there's some stuff down here we can take. We're a bit close to Kailasa, but I don't know where the cap is. They could be anywhere with a dragon, so... Yeah. We're also recruiting lots of junk everywhere. We can get some archers in this province, which, I mean, that's a lot of archers per turn, so why not? Uh, we're still getting Furbolg in this province, and also getting some archers in Kedra as well. I think we're going to be in a war pretty quickly, so I want more units. I don't just want to be on, like, you know, 30 sacreds and nothing else in two turns, which is probably when we're going to be in a war. Probably against Kailasa, because, I mean, they're the best neighbor we have for attacking. And they're a much weaker early game than Pan, so... Yeah. Pan is going to run into Hinnom pretty soon as well, even though he had a good start. Make clans here. Yeah, this is, I think this is going to be a cramped map for everybody, so... Yeah. We're going to need war armies before long. So if we're lucky, we'll get these three provinces, but I won't hold my breath. App, we're still just recruiting what we can, and another little H1B1 dude. Getting some reanimation done just to have bodyguards. Bapu's going to move over to Kedra to try and take Balmor. We'll see if we can grab that next as well. And then the next stuff we recruit will have to get Helbathria. And at that point, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that the expansion phase of the game will be over. <laughs> I don't think we're going to grab much more. It's probably this, 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 and then whatever we can grab here, and that'll be that. 
So we'll see what happens. Uh, I am going to do a little bit of blood hunting in Kedra as well. I would like to have some blood slaves. I'm going to try and get some blood magic research done. We have some early summons we could do. As long as we have some blood slaves. So, I'll try and get that going. I'm probably also going to try and get down some early temples as well. Because it would be nice to push our dominion into Kailasa, who I think has ordered dominion. Which is not great for us. Since um, we're going to rely on having turmoil to get our stats up. As it is though, that's the turn. Uh, we've got 246 treasury banked still. Uh, there are lots of mercenary companies, but yeah, we're going to pay a lot to grab them, unfortunately. Hmm. That's it for this turn, though. I might grab some uh, Lion Tribe as well. This turn's been submitted, but I mean, they're a Javelin unit, so not too bad. Just grab what we can, where we can. And that is it for turn seven. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, Battle in Menachi. So, more Wolf Tribe. Up against, what was it? Ten good sacreds and one not so good one? As long as they don't get on our commander. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Alright, not too bad. So there's Menachi, lost two more Palinkashes and an Asara. I'm not impressed by the Asara to be honest, but I'm not supposed to be recruiting them. I'm still a little salty about having miss missing two wreck points in our cap. Uh, battling Keypest next. You can see we bumped Kailasa this month. So yeah. That does mean that we took the province. Let's see how it went though. Doesn't look too difficult. Some slingers and heavy infantry. No problems. Uh, it says keep S. Lost a Marcata archer and three Atavi archers. Not too bad. And then, uh, unfortunately, we bumped into the Draco Lich. Currently, has a limp. Difficulty with this guy is the Plague Breath which does a load of fear. So, generally it's kind of hard to get near this guy. Um, if we do get near him, we could probably kill it quite easily. Our sacreds would just chop it up, but um, they just got hit by Plague Breath. Hmm, seven morale routing. I think they're all diseased now as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, Plague Breath must be disease. So they're all diseased, they all drop to 7 morale and they just rout immediately. And these guys are still in melee, that's impressive. Doesn't do much for them though. I mean we hit it pretty hard, he was over 200 hit points, we got him down to 170, that's something. But yeah, the sacreds are just running away now. Is that my profit? Oh god. I'm gonna banish the Draco Lich, which is brave. He does he dies doing it. Uh, do I get to see your bless, by the way? Oh yeah, undying plus ten. Interesting. Hmm, so there's key pass, not great. Lost two sacreds, a bunch of archers, and our prophet. Uh Kedra, we got a freak show though, which is great. Although it does give us order, which we don't like very much, but <laughs> the gold is nice. I uh, did some patrolling. I also bid on uh, Bindo's Mighty Marcata. I forgot to mention that last month. I thought they might, might help us against the uh, Great Barrier. I also forgot when these guys shapeshift, or not shapeshift, when they go into their second form, they're undead, right? So our Prophet and our Priest would have been quite good against them, actually. Uh, as it is, we no longer have our Prophet, so Elisa sent me a message apologizing for the bump, but um, yeah, I'm sure he saw it coming. <laughs> Or did that intentionally. Uh, and that's it for messages. I can see Katiz here now. Yeah, that's as far as we're going to go in this direction. Katiz with his laser dog. I don't think, although this might be amphibious, I'm not sure. It's a weird creature. It's got like a crocodile head, right? 
Uh, I don't know. As it is, I'm not going to expand any further up here. So the guys in Minachi, which... Is this a good province? Oh yeah, it's quite a nice province. We've got to put the PD up. Uh, these guys can cut, start heading down south again. Kedra. Delmar is actually still available, so... Bapu's going to head over there and try and take that. It's a pretty decent little squad. He's H2, so we can bless them quite quickly as well. Uh, and while that's happening, we're going to build a temple in Kedra as well. So, yeah, we're probably just going to attack Elasa immediately, because I don't really know what else to do at this point. It's not a very... Uh, <laughs> we're not exactly in a position of strength. We need to just uh, do something now, because we can't expand anywhere else. So let's grab Belmore and see what we can see over here. Put a temple down. Uh, this guy has picked up a disease. I think maybe that means there's a disease site in Towers of Heaven, because he's not old age or anything. We haven't had any events that cause disease. It's a bit uncomfortable if there's a disease site right next to our cat, but... So yeah, did I mention this province did have an earth site? It was a canyon of sand. He was going to come down here to do some blood hunting and probably put up a temple. It's a bit sad if he's just dying now. Oh well, we'll do that. We're doing a bit of recruitment. I'm getting the Furbolg dudes. I've stopped getting archers for a second. Um, but we'll attack Grey Barrier with what we have. Bunch of arrows. We've got the uh, Bindor as Marcata archers. Plus some archers we recruited. And three sacreds. But Alinda can do some banishment at least. Once these guys shapeshift. We'll try and grab that province. And then... That's probably it, right? The only province we have left to get then is Halbathria. We can see what Bycliffe looks like, but... I had a feeling um, Angaia was going to take that. But yeah, I think uh, expansion's done at that point, right? Probably up by like turn 10. So we need to pivot into attacking Kailasa, I think. We don't really have any other options. Uh, very awkward map. But uh, maybe that's good. The other game on the channel is Ur currently. Which is the opposite. We have like a very nice position with no real threats or dangers. We expanded very well. So, you know, for the sake of balance, we have this game where there's just no space to expand anywhere, and we have to just war someone immediately. Fair enough. Uh, still doing a little bit of recruitment. I'm just getting these six sacreds though now. I think we're finally doing a bit of research as well, yeah. Eight per month, hell yes. Let's just see how things shake out next month. That's turn eight though. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, two battles, one in Belmar, one in Grey Barrier. So Belmar is Bapu's army, I believe. Militias, light infantry archers. You heal, Bapu. Uh, no. So that's worth bearing in mind. <laughs> It's not good if he gets hit. Well, he got hit a bit then. Hmm. Where did all of those... solars come from, actually? What was that? Oh, it was the heavy infantry. For some reason, my brain saw those as um, soulless for some reason. That was so weird. Okay. <laughs> well, that's Belmar anyway. Uh, lost. No, I didn't really lose much of anything. Some long dead. And Grey Barrier. So, Karoni Province. This is actually quite small. These would be quite nice units to mix in with our armies, wouldn't they? They stack quite well. They have chaos power and they cause unrest. The difficulty's leading them. How much undead leadership do you get? Oh, 30. That's not too bad. You can recruit tons of these guys because they take, like, what? I'll check it when the uh, battle's over. You can get tons of them, but then you can't lead them because... <laughs> you need undead leaders. Uh, it looks like Bindar's not so mighty Marcata are all fleeing. Yeah, considering that was such a small province, it's kind of awkward. But we did only have three sacreds, so... 
Maybe it's not super surprising. Are you like crippled? Yes. <laughs> okay, well that was a really clowny fight, but uh, there's Grey Barrier anyway. Yeah. Uh, and Towers of Heaven, we got some Unrest and three Misfortune. Okay, it's now Turmoil 3, Death 1, Misfortune 2, great scales. Really good stuff. And that's it for messages. Yeah, these things... So 12 gold, 1 resource, 3 rec points. Yeah, we could get at least 10 of those out every turn if we wanted to. Which is pretty nice. Before we do that, we've got some great units around here. There's the Javelin goes here. At the moment I'm just prioritizing archers because I imagine, like, Kailasa or what? I don't think they have much armor or shield or anything, right? But you guys have a buckler. Depends what unit they're using. They've got monkeys as well, like we do. I mean, <laughs> the units are not very good, are they? We know that the Bless is just undying, which is a bit annoying, but... I don't think we care about ore too much. Well, it depends on the stats that we have, right? And we could also get out some undead, I suppose. Speaking of... Uh, yeah, we basically finished expansion now. So, these guys are on the way home. Uh, just took Belmar, we can see Kalem now. Huge stack of junk. So let's just see what they do next. They could attack us, I suppose, or Elasta or something. I imagine everybody is basically finished expanding at this point. I don't think anyone's going to have like lots of room. Um, so we're going to sit tight for a second. We'll take Halbathria this month with these guys. And then probably going to attack Elasta next turn. For the time being, I'm mostly recruiting archers in places that we can. Still getting the Furbolg over here. Doing a bit of blood hunting as well. And also still blood hunting in Kedra. I don't think we've caught anything yet. Oh right, I built the temple last month, that's right. So we'll try and get a little bit of blood hunting done. I might just stop blood hunting our cap as well. I don't imagine we're gonna... We still are missing two rec points to get a... another sacred out, which is a bit annoying. But at the moment, uh, yeah, we're just reanimating stuff to go on bodyguard, which, yeah, Gatha you can see has five bodyguards here. Uh, over here, Bapu is making ghouls, I thought that was cool, while we sit in this province. Uh, blood hunting here and getting Furbolg, these guys are going to meet up in ripe woods. Yeah, and that's it, this is like, I think we just go to war next month, but we'll see what Kaelin does first, and we'll pick up Halbathria, and maybe we can take Bycliffe as well, I just, it depends what indie type it is. Because I'm wondering if there's a reason it's still independent, or maybe... No, I'd be able to see if Pangaea owned it, right? We'll see you next month anyway. I don't think there's much else to say though. There's a very awkward spot on an awkward map. Alas's God did take Dunster, this was the Horse Tribe province. Yes, yeah, so we're done down here, I don't think we grab two here. What will we have in ripe woods? Not a lot. Just some archers. We need to we need to take Habathria. These guys need to head down then and join up with the archers. We're probably gonna sit here, defending for a second. These guys are gonna meet up with uh the stuff coming from Ninith. So we'll have stuff in Belmar and stuff in Kedra next month. So we could probably all attack Mia next turn. So that would be 8 sacreds plus 16 sacreds, well ish. Some of these guys aren't sacred. Uh, and I'm also getting archers in this province, archers in this province. We probably have like 15 archers as well. That can all attack Mir, and then we'll also attack from this side as well. And just see what happens. Research is still 8 per month. Just getting a random commander this month just to lead out some archers and stuff. Because we're going to have lots of archers all around the place, we can start consolidating them into underneath one real commander. I don't want my only commanders to be like these guys, because they don't have very good actual leadership. Uh, I am getting commanders down here, but mostly to use as scouts because they're stealthy. And we've got some commanders up here as well. I'm going to use some of them for just moving blood slaves around though when we do some blood hunting. Hmm. But that's the turn anyway, that's turn 9, that's basically the end of expansion. 
ended on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven provinces. <laughs> Not great. Thousand and one hundred gold per month. Hmm. There it is, though. <laughs> That's turn nine. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, let me know if you are. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.